Hello, good morning. Safety message for the week of May 29th. Aerosol can safety. Recognizing dangers, respect the can's warning label, be prepared to store, handle, and dispose of. This comes from the seven minute safety trainer. And once again, the information will be sent to you through email as well. Regulations, none per se. Proper storage and disposal procedures. Aerosol cans are pressurized containers because high temperatures may increase the pressure inside the can to the point of explosion. Cans should never be stored at temperatures above 120 degrees. Avoid exposing cans to open flame or such hazards as a stove, radiator, fireplace, or space heater for that matter. Puncturing a can causes a sudden release of pressure that can turn the can into the equivalent of an unguided missile. Be aware of that. Incinerating a can, even if it's empty, risk an explosion. Hazardous ingredients require a warning label. In the past, most of the concern about aerosol cans came from the environmentally aware consumers worried about the effect of different types of carb carbons on the atmosphere. However, uh, pellets used for aerosol cans are mostly stable gases, such as carbon dioxide, CO2, that are economically friendly today. Aerosol cans that contain hazardous ingredients are required to have warning labels. If exposure to these ingredients meets uh, any of the following definitions found in the Hazardous Substance Act, which is 15 U.S.C. 1261-1278. Meeting the definition of these hazards are the following. Uh, flammable, toxic, caustic, irritant, sensitizer, carcinogen, uh, nerve toxin, reproductive toxin. In addition to warnings, of flammability and against puncture of incineration, other common warnings include those of skin, eye irritation, and accidental swallowing or inhaling for that matter. Most aerosol can labels contain an 800 number for consumer questions. Inhalate inhalant abuse. Teenagers, young adults may huff or snuff aerosol cans to get high. The practice may be deadly. Permanent disabilities are possible. If you suspect ever a child or a worker of substance abuse, don't discount that possibility of an aerosol can inhalation. Uh, conclusion, knowledge is power. Although aerosol cans can, are common in both the home and the workplace, they must be treated with respect. They are pressured containers that carry the danger of explosion. Uh, next, what I want to also share with you is aerosol can safety five points. Number one, do not puncture or incinerate a container. Do not expose a heat or flames of, or store in temperatures above 120 degrees. Do not spray in face or eyes. In case of Contact with eyes flush with water and do that for at least 15 minutes. Use only in well-ventilated areas. And five, keep out of the reach of children. Your safety may depend on it. That is the message for the week. Have a great week. Make good choices. And we'll talk next week. Thank you.